here and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a sponge server. Sponge is a type of Minecraft server. It's a new API, completely different API. Um, doesn't have anything to do with Bucket or Spigot, which was which ran on the same API, so their plugins were compatible with each other. But because uh, they were taken down due to DMCA requests, um, Sponge was created. So what sponge is it allows you to it's like mcpc plus aka cauldron which allowed you to use uh server plugins along with uh, minecraft mods this is basically what it does so to get this you would go to the links given in the description now there are, you can go to this link it's going to be in the description you can go here and either download forge by clicking on this link oh, right here Sponge Forge, which is basically a mod for a Forge server, and I'll show you how to install both of these. Both of these, and this is the standalone server, which does not allow mods, but it allows Sponge plugins. Like I just said, Spigot and Bucket plugins will not work on this, unfortunately. And to, if you want the plugin to work on it, uh, you would have to ask your uh, plugin developer to port it over to Sponge, which I think is pretty hard, actually. So I guess only big plugins. Would go to sponge so sponge vanilla is uh, like I just said is just it only runs the plugins sponge forge you run it you install it as a mod on a forge server for the exact version which you can find in the file name and I'll explain the number string of numbers in the file name and you would use that forge version server and you would put it in the mods folder along with whatever other mods of that minecraft server version in that folder along with your players getting the sponge sponge forge mod along with the other mods so you could possibly make a mod pack for your server along with a sponge uh, forge mod inside their mods folder so if you click here you're gonna come here no wait no this is vanilla i'll go over vanilla first so to download vanilla it's actually quite simple you just get this click main on the latest version and I'm going to click show and download, show all downloads. Let it install, keep, yes. <coughs> this one does not require a forward server as it's no one that runs on its own. Although these three are forward, so they require a forward server. Along with your forward installation of Minecraft. No, I'm going to download the other things as well. So while that's downloading, how about we download the Forge one? For the Forge one, you would click on the Forge one. For the vanilla one, you click here on this one. For the Forge one, you click here. So if after you click the Forge one, it takes you here. Now you would download it. These are the downloads. If you want, you can show all downloads and you can see every single version that they possibly have. And the only version that they have is 1.8.9 and 1.8. Because this, is, like I said, it's very new. Let's get the uh, latest one. We would get the mod. Oh, that's downloaded. Okay. If we look in the name, you see uh, down there it says well, Sponge Forge dash 1.8.9 dash 1722 dash 310 uh, 3.1.0 dash beta dash 1127. Basically, what that means on this page, you can see in the description as well. All of these will be in the description. So it says Spanish Forge, Minecraft version 1.9, Forge version 1722, right? Yeah, 1722, Sponge API version 3.1.0, Sponge Build ID Beta 1127. So we need the Forge version, which is this, which is 1722. <clears throat> from the Minecraft Forge uh, website, which is files.minecraftforge.net, or it'll be in the description. Make sure you're on one point in the one point eight point nine. Show all downloads. Now it's not; it's probably not going to be on the latest version unless they 
it just they just released it. So let's and for some reason if add focus doesn't work, then I'll show you how to get it. You just have to wait uh, five seconds and skip this advertisement. Let's go back. If if, if that's if add focus like it, it, before it told me like it's not add focus is down so it don't work. But if you just if if you want to get the direct link, just hover over the eye and click the little direct download button. But I'm not gonna do that because I already downloaded it. It seems the server is really really slow because that just downloaded instantly, even though it's around, around the same size. Okay, now if, let's just think that. Yeah, 130 kilobytes. That's that's not my internet speed. Let's do the sponge vanilla. Okay, so let's make a new folder. Let's call this Sponge Vanilla Tutorial Server. Let's go inside. Now, what you want to do is drag this in here. Now, if you're lazy and you don't want to change the information inside your batch file, you might as well, which I'll explain later if you didn't see my normal spigot and bucket tutorial, then uh, just I'll explain what the batch file is. Just for sake of easy, uh, what's it called? Easiness, whatever. It's not even a word. Else, I couldn't think of the word. Just erase that. Change to sponge vanilla. Now, what you want to do is make a new text document. It doesn't matter what it's called. I want to do at echo off. Now you do Java dash jar. Sponge vanilla is the name, but if you don't. Rename it to Spider Vanilla, just copy it, paste that. And if you want some more RAM, you can put it there, but I'm just gonna get the one from my other one. So hold on. I just got the thingies, the batch files right here. This one is run, I think it's one gigabyte. Yeah, uh, minimum XMS, minimum 512 megabyte. Maximum 1024 megabyte, which is one gig, and that's half a gig. <coughs> uh, that doesn't matter. I think that was uh, depreciated in uh, Java 8, whatever. And not spigot. This would be um, sponge vanilla. This will also be in the descri description. You see, I have echo off and pause, and I have Java, whatever. Okay. That'll just run that file, but in a console, uh, wait, sponge vanilla, and this is 2 gigabytes, 2048 megabytes, save, now let's edit, run, crash, auto restart, this is just a little batch file I made, it, it, after, after, this is the beginning, it's saying, after it's, after it does, or launches the server, if you type in stop, or the server crashes, it goes to start, which is located here, which means, It'll do all of this over again constantly. As soon as soon as you type in stop, it'll keep doing it. Sponge vanilla, and this is one gig. Let's make that 2048. 2048. Just check something in here. Yeah, it's still 512. <clears throat> so now what you what you would do? I'm gonna run it with two gigabytes. You don't have to. Yeah, Java A. That one, like I was saying, just ignore it, it's not a big deal. It's just, it's even saying, ignoring the option. So this is just going to do a little stuff. It's going to install. You can download the required files. And whatnot. Job 8. Now it's starting Minecraft server after it got all the sponge stuff down. You can see mods folder, I'm guessing that's for the actual plugins. Not the mods, like because like I said, Sponge Vanilla does not support mods. Loading sponge, starting Minecraft server version 1.9. And it says you have to agree to ULA.txt. I suggest you read this as it has some interesting information in it, which I was actually breaking the rules of, and I probably would have continued if I did not read it, which is a good thing I read it then. So I stopped. Now let's run it again. Ok, 
Okay, now it's going to start. Uh, best channel ever. Yeah, let's keep it, whatever. Again, the reason I installed this exact version of the installer was because it says 1722 in the name. And this is version 1. 1722. Oops, I dragged it. Oops. Preparing spawn area. <clears throat> okay, now it's done. PL. Nope, that doesn't work, right? How do you check, check your plugins then? Plugin. PL. Nothing, right? Sponge. Type in sponge. Plugins. And those are the three plugins. There's Minecraft, which is actual Minecraft. Sponge Vanilla, which is sponge stuff. Sponge API, which is stop to stop it okay let's exit that and that's basically it there you go sponge vanilla done this is where you push your plugins and that's it now let's do sponge forge make a new folder sponge forge tutorial server now let's go here and uh, no, is my download folder already open? Yes, it is. Clear it all because I don't like having that there. Okay, let's move these two to the desktop. Okay, so this is Sponge Forge, and this is Forge 1.8.9, whatever. Double click this. <coughs> Start the installation process. Windows supposed to a uh, window supposed to pop up. Yeah, there it is. Okay, install client. I don't know if I actually have the version on my actual computer, but I don't need it because I'm not actually on Minecraft with this. Just trust me, it'll work. I already tried it before. So install client. You would have to do that if you want to join this actual server. Well, if it has mods, then you would actually it, then you would have to install the client as well as the mods. But if it doesn't have mods, then vanilla Minecraft users could actually get on this. I think Mineplex actually has a Forge server, which is quite interesting. Mineplex is it. Install server, that's what you want to do. Uh, select the area. Desktop, Sponge, Forge, Tutorial server, in my case. Oops, no. Sponge, Forge, open. Now, install server. Now it's going to download everything that's required and put it inside the folder. Okay, once it's finished downloading uh, all the required files, files and libraries and installed Forge, it'll say successfully downloaded Minecraft server, downloaded 19 libraries and installed Forge, and it says complete up here. Okay, okay. Now, we can delete this unless you're weird and you want to keep it. There's no point though. So now let's go here. Let's go into our sponge vanilla. <laughs> let's copy these because I always use the same ones. And now let's change this. Hold on. Well, let's rename this to Forge. Because this is what we're running. We're not running Minecraft underscore server dot one point point nine. So let's edit this. Uh, forge dot jar. Make sure you have dot jar at the end or else it won't work because that's actually the extension at the end of the file name. Forge dot jar. I'm just hitting Control S to save this. Save this quickly. Forge jar. Okay, now uh, let's start this. It's gonna ask us to accept the ULA again. Again, that little error. Ignore that. That's just inside my thingy. Oops, music. Oh, so many. Ooh, cool. I never really knew that existed. Okay, doing all the stuff, calling all the mods. Um, oh, this is the GUI, which I personally hate, even though it says the memory. Oh yeah, I have to do the agree 
you need to agree to the uh, you need to agree to the ELA in order to run the server. Go to ELA.txt for more info. So let's exit that. <coughs> ELA. Again, I suggest you read this very thoroughly. Save that. Now run this. Oops, I don't want to run it with one gig. I want to run with two gigs. It's faster. The speed of a Minecraft server is determined by your CPU power and um, RAM, mostly CPU power. But if, if you're playing with other people, the most important thing is internet. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this if you hate this just, just as much as I do, because this is really annoying. And along with this, along with the console window, uh, this window is also taking up RAM, valuable RAM that could have been dedicated to the server. <coughs> Now this is also going to generate the world. Okay, now it's done. Again, PL doesn't work. Plugin doesn't work. Sponge doesn't work in this case because we haven't installed Sponge mod. That's just normal Forge, Forge, which you can only install normal Forge mods on. Now. Let's go to mods and put it here. This time, you just there's no point in renaming it. I suggest that you don't rename it so you know what version it is here. You don't have to be lazy here. You just put it inside the mod folder because it's considered a mod because it is mod. Now, to get rid of the GUI, we're gonna edit this space. We're gonna have forge.jar space dash no GUI. Yeah, I think it's a dash. Let's just double check. Okay, so yeah, it was dash no UI. Good. Let's fix that. That was only one gig. No UI. No UI. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to leave that running. Whatever. Let's run it again. Awesome, it's done. Now it says sponge is done, uh, timings reset. It says sponge checking for worlds that need to be migrated. No worlds are found in need of migration. There's all this sponge information. Anything else? No, but at least it didn't give an error, meaning that it did work. And look, it said that it found the core mod sponge powered, whatever. And I think mix in the sponge. Okay, now we have sponge enabled. Now, still, if we type in PL, plugin, plugins, still doesn't work. Sponge, however, it does work. Let's try sponge, plugins. Look, it has Minecraft, Minecraft Coder Prec, which obviously, if you start in a Minecraft installation of Forge without any other mods, if you go to mods list, then you see MCP, aka Minecraft Coder Prec, Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge. Those three are always in there. So we have on the server Minecraft, Minecraft Coder Pack, uh, Forge Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, and Sponge Forge. That's the mod, which is letting us do all this. And that's basically it. If you want plugins, I believe you put it in the mods folder. But I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think you put it in the mods folder. Because that's where you put it in the other one. If it's not in the mods folder, just create a new folder called plugins. Because that's how it is in normal Minecraft servers. But I, I'm, uh, I believe it's mods folder. Let's stop this. And that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys really liked it, uh, hit like. If you guys disliked it, dislike. If you guys really liked it, smash that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. And I'm sorry for not making a video for quite a while. It's just uh, I was busy with other stuff in GTA 5. Which I might actually do some gameplay of. I'm not sure. It's really fun. But I haven't played it in a while again, because I got busy with other stuff, backstabbers and other stuff, like my so-called friend Fury. Well, have a nice day. Bye, guys.